Hello everybody, my name is Zwadi. Welcome back to Hellblade Sentinel Sacrifice. It has been a long, long time since I have played. Um, not much to say. I want to tell you a story about a god of the Northmen called Baldur. The second son of Odin. He was beautiful, good and wise. He was fair of feature, he spoke fair words, he gave fair judgments. Light shone from him. Only good things were told of him. Oh, I'm supposed to be focusing on he was the first of the gods. I didn't even realize. To die. There's a bridge there. Not this way, so it's probably in the other he direction. Morning, you. Dillian. Dillian, we're here. Dillian. We're nearly here. We're here. The Northmen tell this story about the death of Baldur. It begins with dark dreams. Night after night, Baldur dreams of his own death, and the gods fear for his life. So Baldur's mother makes everything in the world. Fire, water, iron, stone, earth, wood, beasts, birds, serpents, poison, they gotta go sickness. For the, for the swear an oath not to harm her sons. One by one, they each make their vow. Neither weapons nor wood will injure him, Baldur's mother boasts. Dillian, there he is. There he is. What are you waiting for? Quick, find a way. Find him. Go through him before he disappears. Dillian, don't lose him. Slip away too many times. Where is, Where is he? Where has he gone? We're in the wrong world. He's not here. She's in the wrong world. Dillian, he's not in this world. He's in the other one. He's in the other one. I, know, I he's get he's in the other one, all right, but like, we'll get there in the a second. The world once seemed so simple. Black and white. Darkness and light. Not in this world. Narrow dividing lines of our own making. Dillian told her to see further. To peek through the cracks and see the worlds of color stretching away from the glow. And Senno explored new paths into the unknown.
Oh my gosh, it was the sunlight. It was the sunlight. That's amazing. Why is he here? You owe your life. He's gone. He's in the dark world. You owe everything to the dark world. You're in the wrong world. I know I'm in the wrong world, but I had to do this in my Without you. Loki makes a dart out of mistletoe and goes to the gods as they throw things at Baldur. The blind god, Huth, was there. Loki asks him why he wasn't taking part. Huth says, I cannot see where Baldur stands, and even if I could see him, I have no weapon. Loki replies, Here is a wand. I will tell you where he stands. And Huth throws the mistletoe at Baldur. It pierces through him, and to everyone's horror, Baldur is killed. And for this, Huth is slain. There we go. Got the arrow at least. Up the end. First time. Wasting your time. You have no time for this. Speedy up. But just to tire you out, to make you weak. You have no chance for love now. Nobody will love you again. Ever. Ever again. Jesus Christ. All after that. What if this is pointless? Dillian never much cared for the underworld. We looked dimly upon the druids, like our father, Zinbel. I guess he took after his father, a chieftain who believed nothing he couldn't see. And he Jeez. happened to be blind. She felt safe in Dillian's arms, had to see the world through his eyes. Slowly, the darkness that had bound her so tight. The freak. Your father cannot understand your darkness. He cannot see through your eyes. No one can. <laughs> My own father was born blind. Doesn't have the faintest idea of what the night looks like. <laughs> the word dark to him means as little as the word light. So someone is afraid of the dark. We fix them by taking away their sight. Would you give up the beautiful world? You, only you can see just to be rid of your nightmares. Or is this the price you pay for the gift you have? 
gift that makes you so special in my eyes. Just another part of the person I love. I left for the wilds to protect you from my darkness. Because I love you. But it made it worse. I'm so sorry. What if this is pointless? What if you're wrong? What if this is nothing to do with the soul? What if we're wrong? The soul will never be yours. Alright, well, I'm gonna end that episode there. Thank you all for joining me on this new episode. Um... Like always, this game is such a trip. Uh, I enjoy it. The puzzle this time, it took me a little while, but I eventually figured it out without having to look it up. I haven't had to look anything up for this game, except for that beginning part, I remember, where it was just annoyingly hard. But other than that, I've gotten the hang of it, so I think I'm good. Anyways, if you want to wait for the next drop, make sure to subscribe so you know when it does come out. Uh, until then, Goodbye. Thank you for watching.